Yeah, it's a great honor to be selected by uh, peer coaches and, um, and SIDs as uh, a preseason favorite. Uh, and I mean that, that's an honor and I think it speaks to the history of success and, and a little bit about last year's team and I think we, our reputation is strong in the league and we've established that. But it really is now about what we do with it and it doesn't really matter a lot as far as you know, what, what's going to happen in the future. We control that and this team is, is going to set their own course and um, we have goals and we think we can be competitive to win the conference but uh, time will tell and we have a lot of work to do. It's an honor to be named the favorite as Defensive Player of the Year, but I don't think it adds any extra pressure. Uh, our team prides ourselves on our defense, and I think as long as we play our game, that we'll continue to play well, and it should really impact our season. Well, we've always been a stingy team uh, with regard to letting up goals, and that's been something that's been a core principle of our program. Having experienced goalkeepers coming back with Ali Parisi and Bridget Conway and Mackenzie Hollenbaugh, uh, being a lockdown defender. So we're pretty solid in the middle of the defense and um, Lauren McClellan has um, been a starter for us and outside back and we have some other young players that uh, we're going to look to to fill in the play in the other outside back position. So I guess bottom line is we have a, a kind of a balance between experienced players and I think some pretty solid newcomers that uh, are meshing nicely so far in preseason. I think they're going to be tested in the early season games and hopefully by the time we hit Patriot League play uh, they'll be well experienced in a, in a really strong unit. We just know how each other play. We know that someone's always going to be there to cover, uh, to step. Uh, we all shift as a unit. We all step up and drop as a unit. And I don't think it's an individual thing at all. I think how dynamic we are and how close we are really is going to impact uh, the season positively. Well, it starts with Jenna Fisher, doesn't it? Um, she is just a terrific player, uh, a hungry goal scorer. She's talented, but she has made the absolute most of her ability because of her work ethic and her mentality. So all the players kind of look at her as this is the model. Uh, Rachel Blauner's back and healthy. Uh, she is a peppy player on the other side. And, um, and we returned Christina Wakefield, who got a lot of valuable experience as a target forward with us last year and played in the uh, Patriot League tournament. And Erica Kaczynski is back after being injured. So it, we, we, we've got goals coming from a lot of different spots in the forward line. and that. Um, not to be uh, forget what our midfield is going to do. Claire Pluler is, is really at the top of her game right now and has had probably the most amount of time healthy and her talent is shining through. Definitely with Rachel Blauner up top with us, we're really excited and Cooper in the center mid um, finally coming into her role and definitely Claire in the center mid. We're really excited. We'd, we'd love to finish uh, the regular season uh, in the top spot. We haven't done that yet. That's a a goal we, we would like to achieve, but we say that, I say that and know how very, very challenging it is. And whether we do or we don't, um, we've proven that you can win the championship not finishing number one regular season. I just want us to be the best team we can be and to be cohesive and to get better every day. And I think if we do that, uh, we'll vie for a championship in the conference and, um, and hopefully can get a little bit further in the NCAA tournament.